Hello everyone, I am Brianna and welcome to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to do a plan with me for December 11th through the 17th. <music> You guys, I am feeling a little bit um, unmotivated to be in my planners right now. I don't know if that is because I have this stack of planners waiting for me to be used in January. Um, and I'm really excited to get into those and I'm really excited what I chose and just to have like this fresh start on the year and just with my planners in general. So, I mean, I'm thinking it's that because I just don't really like, well, I don't know if I want to say I don't like the system because I do love the system. I'm just changing things. So I haven't really made a video of everything that I have chosen, but that is coming out. I'm going to film that soon, showing you everything that I'll be using. Um, so for now, I'm just utilizing my planner how I always have. Um, there is just going to be a lot more of a blank space because of the fact that I'm unmotivated. So I'm utilizing the weekly spread. I'm usually utilizing the monthly spread and all that. So let me start out with giving you a flip of my planner so far for December. I know that you have seen most of this uh, already in a previous video. So I have my scripture writing here. I have done some of them and I have skipped some of them. Uh, so then on this page, I put my videos that I want to film for December. Just, it was all in my brain and I just wanted to get it out on paper uh, so that I wouldn't forget to film something or idea that I had. And then I used those fun little stickers from Hand Can Plan from her freebie, like a little, um, not an advent, but a bucket list of things that I wanted to do in December. And I just wrote holiday fun on this page. It is not filled out yet because I am going to be doing our uh, Christmas menu here. I like to host Christmas so that I don't have to take my kids out of the home and drive somewhere. I like them to just stay here and be able to play with the things that they received for Christmas and just relax. So I haven't figured out that menu yet and that's why I, it is blank. Then we have this first week of December. It was only three days here. I did my packing list. We had that Friday and then Saturday is when we left town. We drove uh, down to Southern California on that day. And then Sunday is when we started our Disneyland adventure and how I utilized the pages. I just, I wrote all of the rides and the things that we did that day so that I wouldn't forget what we accomplished and what we did. And then here I have December daily. I'm writing ideas for my journal, my December daily journal, but Full disclosure, I haven't done a thing in it only because we've been gone. So we were gone the second and then we came home on the eighth. It is the 12th today. So it's only been a few days that I've been home and I haven't really, we've been busy. So I haven't had a moment to just sit down and kind of create. So I have ideas here so that when I do sit down and create, I could kind of knock them out quicker. Um, 2024 planner plan and then the planners. So I was going to write everything out here because I know that if you're a planner, you will get this. I was second guessing. I was like, okay, did I make the right decision? Am I utilizing uh, the things the way that they should be or how I envisioned it. Is it going to work? And so I was like, I just need to get it all out of my brain and onto the paper. Well, before I was able to do that, we left on vacation. And so this was left empty, but now I am okay with 
the plan that I have set and it'll be good. So I don't need those pages anymore. Um, we have a very bare weekly spread because we were in Disneyland and traveling all of these days. And then we came home. We did this thing called Streets of Bethlehem where our um, a local church puts on this event where it's like you're walking through the streets of Bethlehem. And then Sunday, we just rested because we were so tired. Um, so yes, the plan for Disneyland and all the things that we did there. And then Friday, we were driving home. Saturday, we were busy. And Sunday, we just relax. So I didn't feel like even opening my planner or being in it. And that is how it shows. So now we are on to the current week and I'm going to go ahead and set this up and then I'll be back to chat with you guys. Okay, I had to break from filming for the night and it is now the next day uh, in the morning time. And I'm just going to continue where I left off. I need to kind of get my bearings and remember what I was doing when I shut the video off because I looked at the time and realized that it was later than I thought that it was. So I needed to get dinner started and just be with my younger two kids for the rest of the night. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but my husband took my older boys to the mountains. And so I am home with my younger kiddos. Okay. So I decided to use this washi from Planner Perfect. I used the day of the week stickers from Coco Daisy. I wrote in our weather. I kind of feel really behind because now it's Wednesday and I have barely planned. But like I was saying before, I am just not super motivated by my planner and what I am doing and how I'm using it. So I feel like this week, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the daily pages or if I'm just going to stick to the weekly. I will decorate the daily pages just in case I want to kind of hop in, but I don't think I'm gonna back plan for Monday and Tuesday. I might just take up full days for Saturday and Sunday. Um, but then again, I might just do one day per page. Also, I don't know. I need to figure this out. Let's see. So there's one, two more weeks in December. So I really have a lot of book to utilize. So I need to get my act together, you guys. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. Now I want to fill in the things that we have done or will be doing. So Monday was a super busy day. My two older boys had ortho appointments. And then right after that, we ran to Target to grab some items for our gingerbread decorating with our CC community. I had everything. I just wanted to get extra icing because I know those boxes that have the pre-made gingerbread houses um, don't come with enough icing and different colors too. And then right after that, we did speech therapy for my son. Okay. And then Tuesday, I'm just gonna say boys leave. 
and let's see, Thursday I have BSF. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it. It's our last one of the year. I, I was really hoping that I could make this. Um, but with my husband being out of town, I don't know if I can do that. I don't I don't have childcare, so I will most likely be home. And we had no piano on Tuesday. Today is just a stay home day. I want to film some videos and I also want to wrap presents. This year I'm trying to stay on top of it where it's not like, so in past years I have had like my husband take the kids for the whole day and then I have one day to just, I turn on Christmas movies and then just wrap everything. Uh, that's super tiring. And I'm trying to be better this year where I um, am wrapping as things are coming in and it's making it less stressful, uh, which is nice. So I want to get some wrapping done today, um, leftovers for dinner because I made hamburgers and french fries last night. Um, I'm just addicted to homemade french fries. Have you guys ever made homemade french fries? Well, I use the Jersey sweet potato. So it's a mix between the potato and the sweet potato where it tastes like a french fry, but it's a little bit sweeter and it is so, so good. Like it's amazing, I love it. Um, but I made enough for leftovers uh, because I didn't want to have a mess two nights in a row. I also made coleslaw, um, hamburgers and fries with coleslaw. It's called a healthy coleslaw and you make it with, you can make it with Greek yogurt. I use vegan A's um, sometimes, but you use maple syrup and like lime juice and apple cider vinegar and it's just really really nummy i love it um let's see i feel like i want to like draw a line right here for some reason just like separate all right the rest of the week friday our house is getting cleaned what do we do for dinner on Monday? See, I need to write these down before I forget. I think we did chicken. We always do chicken. <laughs> um, potatoes. And a veggie. Uh, my favorite veggie right now is a mixture of broccoli and cauliflower and we roast it in the oven with some salt and olive oil. And it's just so good. Like it gets crispy and it's just, it's delicious. Um, Saturday and Sunday. I don't think we have anything going on. We were going to do, um, a little get together, but then that got moved to next week. So that opens up our weekend to rest. Or I do want to plan a few things like Christmassy th things like, we have a fake tree and this is our second year having it. We got it last year and it's just, it's different getting used to it um, because it doesn't have like that smell uh, and it's just, I don't know, it's different. So we were actually thinking about grabbing hot chocolate and going to a Christmas tree farm and just walking around looking at the trees um, because I feel like that was a tradition of ours and we're kind of missing it. So we'll see if walking around the tree farm is the same thing and not actually getting something. Um, I also want to take the kids to see Santa and what else did I want to do? 
ice skating. I wanted to go ice skating with the kids. So I feel like December is flying by and there's so many things that I still want to do. But at the same time, there's our, like, we've done so many things already. So it's not like we're doing nothing. Uh, when we went on our trip to Arizona, we did a couple Christmassy things there. And then, of course, Disneyland was all decked out with their holiday things. And it was just magical. We loved it. Have you guys ever been to Disneyland? I know that there's some people who have not been to Disneyland um, or they do Disney World because they're closer to Disney World and that's the reason why they haven't been to Disneyland. I have never been to Disney World because we've always lived in California and we have Disneyland so we've never, you know, trekked over to the East Coast to do Disney World five, six, seven. Okay. Um, one day, one day we'll do that. Just not anytime soon. We were talking about that and we were thinking that we want our littles to be a little bit older so they can handle all of Walt Disney World because Disneyland is only two parks and you know, Walt Disney World's a lot bigger. Okay. I see that this is crooked. I am going to put the date down on these pages and maybe decorate a little bit. We'll see how I feel. I'm like in that, do I deck? <laughs> that is staying crooked. Why is that going crooked? Um, I'm like in this space of, do I just do minimal and not decorate a lot? Um, especially if like these pages are not going to be utilized how I envision them to be utilized. I don't know, but right now I'm just gonna put the, the dates on the pages. I may need to move somewhere else on this table because the sun is coming in and I'm afraid that it's just going to wash everything out. I'm still learning this table. I, um, have said before that usually I film down on our dining room table, but I'm in the process of moving everything upstairs to our school room. It just is a more quiet space and I can leave things out on the table and it won't just either be in the way or, you know, out downstairs. It, it seems like it's tucked away better when it's upstairs. Um, so yeah, I'm still learning the pattern of the sun up here because we still have a lot of windows all around and I need to know different timing of the day, which what timing is best to film. So I'm going to move and I'll be right back. All right, let's see how long I can go before the sun finds me over here on this end of the table. So today, like I was saying, is not going to be a very busy day. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just kind of fill in here and there and figure out a plan for my daily pages. Okay, I'm really liking how this turned out. I like how I'm using the pink with that washi and how I ended up setting this up was I back planned a little bit, busy day to day, and then today's to do's. And I like how I have the today's to do's. <laughs> that kind of sounds funny when you say it out loud. Um, but what I was doing was just like listing out the main things that needed to get done and then any notes or um, 
anything that we did or what I needed to do, I just listed out um, and wrote out down here. Um, every night, I kind of want to watch a Christmas movie. Let's highlight that. Um, and I will write movie here. I'm not sure which ones, but I do want to go back and fill in the Christmas movies that we haven't watched yet so that we can be sure to get them all in because I like watching all of the movies. We've watched quite a few. I haven't caught up on like Hallmark movies or anything like that. So I have a lot of those to watch, but usually I just put those on as I am cooking dinner or something. I don't actually sit down and watch those. I don't have time to do that anymore. Um, okay, so that is pretty much it. I am going to call it done. So if you guys have any questions, let me know below. I um, am going to be filming other videos you guys put in the comments of my last video that you wanted to see another batch of my advent. So I'll do that. And I want to show you what I have chosen to use for 2024. Um, and then of course more plan with me's and maybe a flip through. I have to say that this Christmas planner is, um, I don't know. I'm not, I feel like I'm not utilizing it like I should be. And I'm gonna be kind of bummed that like these Christmas memories, I don't know what to do about that because I have my other um, December journal that I'm going to be putting our memories in. So I just have, to, I have a lot of thinking to do you guys, a lot of thinking uh, of what I wanna do. So um, again, put any questions or comments in the, comment section below and I will be happy to chat with you and um, answer any questions that you have. But I hope that you're all having a wonderful week and that you are enjoying your planners. Um, I hope that you guys are not like me and kind of in a funk. Well, anyways, if you have made it this far, thank you, thank you, thank you. Make sure to like this video, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll chat soon. Bye, you guys.